Keanu Reeves, films he most completely ruins, and films that are actually elevated by his being in them. Well, I think any period piece he's in, he automatically ruins. Mm. Dangerous Liaisons. I mean, it doesn't ruin the movies completely because like they're still like Dangerous yeah. Liaisons is a really good film. Which is like whenever I don't even remember him being in Dangerous Liaisons. Wherefore are now? He's um, a music teacher who is trying to woo Uma Thurman, but Uma Thurman is wooed instead by John Malkovich, and he's just like. It's like, oh, did you find the opera Divine? And he's like, seriously, that's, <laughs> that's what he good. does. And wow. It's, Divine, don't you find? It's, it's wow. really, it's actually a quote from the film. And it's like, the movie just instantly loses credibility then gets it back as soon as he's off screen. Hmm. Um, what's the other one he's in? Well, Dracula, Dracula, Much Ado About Nothing. Much Ado About Nothing, where mm-hmm. Kenneth Branagh took a chance on Keanu Reeves and he just destroys a very small chunk of the film. Mm-hmm. It's a very charming. Shape. There are a lot of actors in that movie that are not... Denzel Washington's not very good in that movie. No, either. no. There's, there's some bad stuff going on in that movie. Kenneth Frana has, a, I mean, for a Shakespeare expert or whatever he thinks he is, <laughs> he doesn't know how to cast Shakespeare a lot of the time. In a lot of smaller roles, like Hamlet has just like, like Jack Lemmon is like the second guardsman. Oh, I like scene. that. I, I enjoyed He's that. He's so bad. Like Gerard Depardieu. <laughs> Robin is, Williams is York. <laughs> or, or, not York. Uh, uh, York, yeah, I knew. Osric. Yeah, Osric. Yeah, oh, yeah, it's so bad. But, um, but I think he's he's really good at playing dumb, endearing dumb characters. So he's good in not just Bill and Ted, but I Love You to Death. Him and William Hurt make an mm. oddly compelling duo. Mm-hmm. Um, and also in Parenthood, the yeah. film. He's, oh, yeah. He's quite really amazingly wow. endearing. That's actually the movie I think he's the best in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. His, his, his performance is actually kind of moving yeah. by the end of that movie. You kind of yeah, feel yeah. glad that he's there. Mm. No, he does weird. a good job. It's weird because he just had he could have played those roles, but then like he's like, well, I'm semi attractive, and his agent was like, well, you have to take these straight roles, like mm-hmm. Point Break, which is great in Point Break. I like Point Break. Amazing in Point Break. He's so well used. He's not really amazing. He's no, yeah, exactly. So well used. Yeah, he's perfectly plugged in yeah. to a part that needed him to yeah. be in it. So clueless. He has no yeah. idea what he's doing. Like that's perfect for the right. film. Yeah. But then if it's like The Matrix, like, he's not convincing. I don't like him in The Matrix. I have to say, yeah. probably because he doesn't speak too much. I mean, that's the probably saving grace. Well, but what he does. But I mean. There's something that's he doesn't of, look the part. I mean, there's something that's kind of just very, kind of cold. Again, in that sort of way. I, mean, I don't know if he has this sort of like acting vision for the film, but for me, it works somehow. I guess he was well used yeah. in the film because I mean, he's kind of a blank slate character. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah. Yeah. I think like when he's being like a romantic lead or something like, that, like Speed, even he's just kind of like. Yeah. I, he down. for me, he, uh, he brought down uh, My Own Private Idaho because mm. the par- you know the contrast between River Phoenix and him is just so glaring. And, 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 he's doing Shakespeare in that too. Yeah. yeah, yeah, he's a strange choice as the rich kid that that tries to make like the wise decision. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a, that's a weird. Yeah. That was a weird casting choice. I, I liked. I liked. Uh, he was giant mnemonic, right? I'm not making mm-hmm. that up, right? Yeah. So, Directed so what's great about that is that that is such a weird '90s like post cyberpunk relic thing that could only have happened at the moment that it happened. And for me, like that's when Keanu Reeves is kind of crystallized in time, so that the Matrix is almost like a. He's, it's almost as if he's accessing that period of time for the Matrix, okay. which could not exist without the cyberpunk stuff, you know. And Matrix just had the benefit of him not speaking as much and having better special effects. And the Prada and, code or whatever. Yeah, but, but I, I actually think that, that the Matrix just as easily could have bombed and that it's actually somewhat of a fluke that it was as big as it was. I, I just don't... Well, I remember when we were advertising it, I was yeah. like, didn't they just make this movie and right. it was a big bomb? Like, yeah. was Johnny Mnemonic? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So for me, that is like... That's his film. He he gets that whole film, you know, and yet and yet whenever I think of it now, because I haven't seen it in so long, I will keep wondering if Johnny Depp was Johnny Depp instead of Keanu Reeves. That's how long it's been since I've seen that film. Before we move on, I have one Point Break question. Mm-hmm. Something that's all, I love the film as probably as much as any of you, um, <laughs> but one thing that's always bothered me about it, really the only thing that's bothered me about what I considered otherwise be a pretty flawless movie, um, is is in the ending. <laughs> Is what he's been through in the film worth giving up your career for? Mm. Why does he ch- I, talk about unsatisfying innings? Why does he chuck his badge into the ocean? It's honor. It's that's giving. I felt like everything about that was symbolic because even even the whole like go out to sea and you're gonna die because the waves are so intense. That's basically what happens, right? Yeah. Yeah, which is a big I, ending, right? Well, so, so why so, well, why is the of. last thing you see in the movie like the badge floating except, but, in yeah, the? Yeah, but except the except it's, it's a dirty hairy thing. It's in no way clear that those waves would actually kill somebody if they tried. Like it's as if it's just a given. Like well, because they're such bad waves. 
He, we can assume that he will die. And it's like I kind of like to see him die. Don't they show like him <laughs> sort of perishing? Like so falling sort into of, the water? But, but you see him sinking into the water, which happens often when you are surfing. Right. <laughs> you, very oh, often the you wave, are submerged the wave, into the water. Oh, oh, yeah, like, a skyscraper like, wave kind of overtakes him. Yeah. Although a post but, a post credits know. moment of him actually riding it. Or <laughs> 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 of, of him riding it to safety. <laughs> Woo I got away. What's that would have been amazing. Yeah. Yeah. He winds up like another country. That, that might be. That 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 was that was a generally. Pointing. Everything about like the sequence of events in that ending didn't quite didn't quite click for me. Yeah, it was a very tacked. The whole Australia thing like was a very tacked big. on ending. <laughs> Australia looks a lot like yeah. Malibu. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it was a really kind of bad choice to even have yeah. the whole kind of coda.